we are playing, or are going to play, in the 1066 start. Because lurking in the 1066 start... Yeah, I think I've got all the achievements that we could reasonably get from this start, so it just made sense to just let's play it with bar bar Barbershop on again. Um, is lurking, lurking here in Argyle in the 1066 start, you will find Count Werner of Argyle. He is the only ruling Habsburg in the game. So we're going to start as Count Werner. Our goal is to conquer Austria and form the Duchy of Austria, the Archduchy of Austria, which is a kingdom level title, that you, a decision that you can make to create a kingdom level title for the Archduchy of Austria. I can't remember off the top of my head what the requirements are for it, but we will find out when we're over there. I believe you have to control all of Austria, all of Steiermark, and all of Carinthia, and then I think you need a strong hook on the Emperor. Something like that. Uh, but that's what we will, we will aim to do. Which, you know, we're starting as a little county down here. That's not an easy ask, but we will do it. But it wouldn't be us if we didn't impose some other rules on ourselves as well. So the rule we are imposing on this game is we are going full Habsburg. That means we are only allowed to marry our relatives. So we need to do all of this whilst marrying our cousins, uh, nieces, nephews, whatever else. We can only marry within the Habsburg family. Now we might slightly wave that and go well as long as they are genuinely related to us we'll marry them but I think what we're going to try and do is we're only allowed to marry Habsburgs which means we need to get the Habsburgs onto a lot of thrones and things as well so there's probably going to be a bit of murder going on because we're going to need to uh, do some matrilineal marriages and then uh, make certain people inherit so our kind of stretch goal really is to get a Habsburg on the throne of England, France and if it unifies Spain. We might even help Spain unify just so we can get Habsburg on the throne. How many degrees of relatedness? I think we will go with, let's say our rule are, rule is that we can only marry, we, we can marry anyone from within the Habsburg uh, dynasty or anyone who is a cousin level relationship. So we can marry our cousins, we can marry nephews, we can marry aunts, you know, so we can kind of go one step outside the family, the direct family, or anyone who's a Habsburg. So that's the rules. Yeah, two degrees of freedom, basically. Which is going to make things interesting. Now that should give us enough flexibility to not end up with massively Habsburg chins, but we will see. Uh, what it does make tricky is we're going to have to think carefully about how we breed in. See. Uh, uh, right, so what did I miss? Was anyone asking serious questions? What if they were a Habsburg but were adopted by another family, or you could adopt them and they become a Habsburg through adoption? You can't actually adopt in-game. Which actually is something I'd like them to see do. I do wonder if they've added that. Now I want to go back and play the Roman Empire mod because that's coming along nicely, the fall of the Roman Empire one. And I do wonder if in that they will have added adoption properly because adoption was such a huge thing for the Romans. Um, but yeah, as adoption isn't a thing. Now, um, in we go. Let's do that one. So yeah, it also means we've got to be careful about doing baby dun dungeon stuff because we need to make sure there is a supply of relatives that we can marry. Yeah, there is a court. You're right, there is a court action that will allow trigger random adoption. Right, this is also quite handy because if people ask me how you start as a small count and actually achieve things, and so this is a good example of how to do that. Oh, nice. So the good thing is we've actually already gone martial. That is useful. Because we're actually going to reset perks. And we're going to do that 
because it might well be worth us staying on that. But let's have a look at what our our stewardship seven isn't great. We're going to need the stewardship boost, I think, early on. So we're going to go domain focus because we do have a wife already, but she's pretty terrible. But she has given us a couple of kits. Getting traits into our family is going to be interesting. Right. Oh, what I will say is... Um, I leave it to chat to decide whether we're allowed to adopt illegitimate kids. Because that would be the way round a lot of stuff. So, what happens if I have a really useful bastard? Are we allowed to adopt them into the family? I, I vote yes, but I'm quite open to ideas. Anyway, so... We get one, get one of four holdings. That might be enough, you know. That might be enough. Depends on whether we think we're likely to get more than four holdings as him, and I'm not convinced we are. Let's start on learning because we're going to want it anyway then what we are going to do is we're going to take stalwart leader courtship and promising prospects for the marriage boost we're then going to take everything down here because it is maybe we want the control growth got four more left. No, we probably want... Movement speed is very useful. Supply capacity. And let's take Parthian Tactics. Mostly because I want Men at Arms envelopment at some point. Yeah, this is a Habsburg run, not an Allen run. We want traits. We'll try and minimise us adopting, unless you really need to. So, we currently have 413 troops. This is a problem. But, remember that what we've just done is given ourselves better marriage prospects. Now, the other thing to remember is we do technically have relatives already. The Lensbergs are our relatives. So as long as the Lensbergs are in the game... Oh, well, for now we can get away with that because those are our nephews. So they are valid marriage options. Yeah, our, at least we are mildly competent at soldiery. Now, what we actually need to do is work out who we're attacking first. But in order to do that, we do need to work out what we do about marriage. Now, the question is, is there a better... I don't think there's a better option for us within the, the Habsburg family than our wife at the moment. Because there's only our sister around. So unless the Lensbergs throw out, unless she throws out a good daughter, it's not going to be great. Try and form Transgerania to begin. We are, well, this, the question becomes whether we stick round here to begin with, and then push for Austria, or whether we try and push there uh, sooner rather than later. And really that comes down to the relative strength of people around us. So if we wanted to form Transgerania, we'd need that territory. That would make us a duke. It is probably a good idea. Uh, we're not close enough to tribals to really beat up on them. 
Now, he is probably relatively easy to conquer. He has relatively equal number of troops to us. But actually what we could do is... Have you got any kids that are marriageable? Now we'd have to break this. We've got Otto, who's our heir. We've got Ida, who isn't. Otto is six. He is bossy, which is useful for us. I don't want him on Marshall. I want him on stewardship. So yeah, I think we want to get ourselves the duchy here, because we can always abandon it or give it out later. If, if there is a reason for us not to marry a Habsburg, I'll put it to chat. I'll do a vote and you chat can decide. But I think, generally speaking, we want to be trying to only marry Habsburgs. And, by the way, this only applies to our likely heir. It doesn't apply to other members of the family, because that's just impossible. At least in the early game, because we wouldn't have alliances. I'm open to us later on, that rule being changed, so that we can only... only any of our children can only marry within the family. But just to begin with, there's no way we could pull it off. So, can we negotiate... I don't think we can negotiate an alliance with our brother. Or our brother-in-law. What I would be interested to see... Is for Ida... What's the best marriage we can get? We can get Corinth. Ooh. Don't we need Corinthia? I'm pretty certain we need Corinthia. No, it's just Austria and Steiermark, isn't it? So we don't need it. So, of the potential options with troops, we can get Corinthia, which is useful. I think Corinthia would get us potentially in straight over here. Well, the thing is, we don't necessarily have to keep this. So, matrilineally, we're only going to get counties. I, th I think we bite the bullet on her. Like, that would give us 2,400 troops. 2,400 troops... might be enough to steamroll Austria. It would. We've got that Duchy of Lausitz alliance, but... I suspect we do want to just get ourselves a Duchy first. Definitely get a Salzburg. Might even get a stay -a mark. Yeah, her kids will be nieces and nephews, so they will they will apply under our rule of who we can marry and who we can't. Trex nineteen fifty nine. Thank you very much for the follow. And a lot of this comes down to whether we can roll and get ourselves. Fuck me, Niklaus. Jesus, boy. You should be, uh... You should be over there. He 
you should be over there. Means we don't have anyone else yet that we can appoint to those positions. But that's much better for us. What's the good territory over here that we probably want? No, we don't need ma divine marriage. We're not doing brother-sister marriage. We're going proper Habsburgs. So Linz is a double castle. Which is probably quite useful early on. There's 294 levies there and 394 levies there. I'm genuinely torn as to whether we go straight over there or whether we look to get our little duchy here. I think we go for that. I think we start eating on... We haven't got the greatest priest in the world, so it's going to take time. Let's fabricate on Linz. Good morning, Sveki, and a happy new year, new year to you, too. Right, so we're going to fabricate on Linz. There's nothing we can do about our empty council positions. We can petition our liege. There's probably no harm in... Well, yeah, we've got the prestige to do it. Let's see if we can get a council seat. It is unlikely... You never know. We do kind of need some good people. Have we got any unmarried? Cathilda is 23 and a hunchback. Can we find someone with the genius trait who will marry her? Uh, actually, it's better to search this way. So we are looking for geniuses within diplomatic range who are male, adult, and unmarried. And actually, I mean... He's an Ashkenazi, but look at look at that frickin' stewardship. He'd make quite a good steward. Or we go Gavril, who would be an excellent diplomat. Actually, no, we want Leventi. I think at this point, A, he could steward, but actually that marshal is just... Or Nuno. Nuno's younger. Nuno? Would you consider marrying Burst here? No, because he really doesn't like me. Wait, what? His own marriage? Oh, because it's marrying him. Hmm. Levente? It's probably not helping that we've only got low-born courtiers. Hello. Madam, you have a trait. We get minus 21 on that. If we gift him... No, we need to send him 75. That's not going to happen. We're going to pin him. We're going to try and sway him. In the meantime, we're vengeful, greedy and wrathful. I 
think we are going to have to educate Otto ourselves to begin with. Which is not ideal. Uh, I feel like if they're both lowborn, they shouldn't have the minus 20. It does seem a bit odd that lowborn people are like, Ugh, I'm not marrying a lowborn person. Right, we're going to do a stewardship challenge. So before we do that, let's... I mean, it's not much of a boost, but it's a bit of a boost. No. Oh, well. It was worth a try. We'll have to deal with the fact that we've got empty council positions now. I do think we want that Corinthia marriage. I mean, it'll go matrilineal if we married a second son. So we can keep them as Habsburgs as well. Like when you have an unreformed religion and people dislike that. Yeah, exactly. Right. Matrilineal marriage there. Uh, I think we will become a drunkard. Otto is our potential heir. He's going to need someone he's related to to marry. Uh, and they're related as well, are they? Are they related? Am I related to them? This is going to bite us when we die to alcohol later. Probably. Right, so... Ooh, did we just get a free... I mean, she's... An evil absolver. I'm a trained physician specialising. Perhaps my discreet counsel would benefit me, yours. She'll offer me a fertility treatment. Do we want a fertility treatment? She's not actually that great a physician. I'm not convinced we do yet, because we're just going to have title issues. Yes, no, maybe. Thank you very much, chat, for your wise counsel. Um, <laughs> also, we need the money at the moment. No. If she had traits, I'd take her. Is there anyone we should be murdering? She's probably a secret witch. Yeah, I suspect she was. Because we are banking cash. Which we need because... It's going to cost us for the claim. She has a scholar. She did have a scholar. Maybe we should... No, she's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Right, we're going to go into speed five because there's actually not an awful lot we're doing while we're waiting for this freaking claim to drop. And we hope that he doesn't get good allies. How are you looking in terms of allies? Oh, wife's prego. None. You'd have a reasonable amount of troops. Uh, Radbot. The Lisping Radbot. Is he our first Alan? Or do we just let him be called Radbot, which is just the most badass name ever? How are you going to min-max your starting land? We will go heavy on troops to begin with. 
It kind of depends actually what we get. He's not really Alan enough, is he? Let's let he can be called Radbot. Radbot is a Radbot is a good name. I'm sure there are many people in chat called Radbot. And we've just got Athletic, which is perfect. Come on. Nice. Can we work off some stress? Work off some stress. There's a 50% chance Hartwig contains, uh, gets Athletic. And we form a closer to a friendship. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll exercise them. Good evening, semi evil pants, and thank you for your resubscription. Levante is not swayed. Oh, Otto is ambitious. That is good. Now, do we cycle this once? I feel like we cycle this once in a gamble to see if we can get the whole lot. Actually, we don't want the whole lot yet. We wouldn't be able to hold it. We probably would with our ally. He basically needs to die before we can do anything anyway. Do we even have a chance? Ugh, he's very unkillable. The all turn. No, hang on, we've got Radbot now. Hello. We can get an alliance with Austria. And she's intelligent. I mean, that's basically a no brainer. An alliance with who we are trying to form. Well, I'm trying to form the kingdom. But we don't have to fight for everything. We can... Given our game rules we're playing on that, with a bit of work, we can... get that back. I just feel like it's worth cycling it. Does that change the nature of this and mean we should go for here first? And just get the duchy locked in. Maybe we should. Because we've easily got the alliances to pull it off now. Or we go for Salzburg because they're not going to get any alliances. Salzburg Blaise basically can't get alliances because he can't marry. And that puts us in the right region. get pedagogy. Let's try and make Otto not terrible. I think we go Salzburg. Love you guys look. It's, it's actually the default game one because obviously Camp Werner does start in the game. And welcome to chat by the way. Um. I'm going to cycle that once. It'll give us cash anyway. And cash is good. 
44, we can afford to cycle it once. Don't increase your learning, you little pleb. If this doesn't produce a thing, I think we're going for Salzburg. He is at war with someone. He's no longer at war with someone. Um, I don't really need his pity. We don't have a lot of sources for prestige. I am not gifting my wife anything. Uh, which counts as we're missing? We are missing two. We are missing a chancellor and we are missing a marshal. Not really much we can do about that yet. Hang on. Max is being evil. Go on the spare bed if you want, but you can't go on the main bed. That's an opponent. Right. We'll see if he stays. If he doesn't, he's going out. Uh, apparently, Hritter spit in my son Otto's food during dinner a few nights ago. You're a child! Otto screams. But you're a newt! Hritter screams back. Otto's been fighting with Hurta every day since. Not a minute goes by without him plotting some sort of petty revenge. Uh, deceitful is probably better for him. He is sinful to Catholics, though. Maybe we'd let him keep vengeful. Calm would give him... Diplo and Intrigue. I mean, it's a one boost on all of them. I just suspect Vengeful might do them better because of the prowess and the Intrigue boost. Doesn't have a lot of intrigue. Deceitful. I'm going that. I think we give him deceitful. Right, come on, streamer luck. Give me some streamer luck. I demand streamer luck. All of these are here. England has gone English. Uh, is there any way of at least getting a lowborn into one of those? I would look at the marriage again. Um, yeah, we probably can do. Uh, do we want him sadistic? Or well, sadistic's actually arguably very useful for him. Now he can kill his kids. Right, we didn't get one on the whole of that, so I think we're flipping to Salzburg. We'll take the adjacency. The Salzburg is very nice. You know, who doesn't want an eagle's nest? Right, now we probably want to go down here and just get no thyself. Um, you are going to flip and you're going to get Salzburg. What are a word of Lollards? The Lollards were a religious sect. Um, I don't really know much about the Lollards. Uh, lay with me instead. Because if I can throw out another kid, I will. We do have a bit of bank now, which is good. 
Oh, that'll end well. We have a baby on the throne. Right, Levante now likes us. Is that... does Levante like us enough to marry one of our courtiers? Almost. One more boost on that and he will. Basically one more boost on that and he will. He'll go for it. There we go. Max has settled on the spare bed. I don't want to bribe. I need the money. Bribe is going to cost us 75. Whereas I can just wait for one more cycle to kick in. Uh, Otto is already a drunkard. Well done, Otto. Decentish stats, to be fair. And what it does mean is we can flip Hartvig into doing something else, although he's terrible at everything. Like, at six, you are better as a Chancellor. I did get Midas touched, though. That is nice. Otto is decent. I think we do put him in a steward. Does mean Hartwig gets Chancellor or whatever. Happy New Year, Belgian cat. Oh, come on. That a failed sway attempt. We will take restraint, because we want know thyself. Now, do we cycle this? I don't think we do. I think we take it. Right, he's got 1,709 troops. Corinthia is not at war. Neither is Austria. We don't need to call him both. Now, this will piss off. Give us a devotion penalty, but I mean, we're already at minus 85, so I'm kind of like it's not really going to do us much problem. Like, we will be a sinner. Well. Excommunication intensifies. Yeah, well, you know, we've got our marriages locked in. We will just use Corinthia. Hey, Corinthia, can you come and fight this war for us, please? I mean, basically, if we get all of our terrible holy warness out of the way now, hey, we got a bishop. Do we want to take that? I bet we can resent him for a fair bit. Oh, we didn't capture him, did we? Yeah, we just end the war. Uh, sir, I believe the word is yoink. We didn't have anyone to make a marshal before, so there wasn't really much point. Yeah, capture the bishop plus, cheap, plus three chess wall, wall score, yep. Yeah. Right, so we get claim on that. Then we're going to go to war with the bishop again. Bishy war. Now, because that we didn't actually have to raise any troops for that, we can now actually think about what we do with Salzburg. 
it is quite troopy already. So I feel like we should do that. And that probably does mean we want to... We want to move our capital there. Because we want to make sure Otto gets it. Does probably mean we've now got a Marshall pop option. Got Mayor Reinhold here, who absolutely fucking hates us, but he's a mayor, so it doesn't matter. Do have a spare castle slot. I'm not going to be able to afford building it yet anyway. Yeah, and he hates us a bit less now. To be honest, we'll let him cycle once, but we don't necessarily need him as much more anymore. Uh, Radbot is off to a party. Please don't die. Ooh, the holding of Hallen. Haline gains a Temple Grounds. Do we want that? Is that in Salzburg? No, that's Brunel. Or I can gain 15 gold. Do I need Anno? He'd then join our court. No, just give me the gold. Child returned alive. It's always a good thing. Someone needs to educate Radbot. Radbot's already nine. How is Radbot already... Jesus, time flies when you're on speed five. We kind of need to get Otto married to someone, but that means he needs to marry a relative. Hmm... Yeah. Tea! Yes, today's tea is smoky Russian, which is a lovely Lapsang Souchong. From Bird of Blend, of course, exclamation mark tea. If you order from them, uh, you get some free tea if you've not ordered from them before and you use the code THEBRIT. Um, so don't forget to do that. Other streamers will push energy drinks at you. I push tea. Tea is much nicer. I think our main goal with Werner here is to lock in Salzburg. So we'll take all of the frickin' devotion hits. Oh, you absolute fucking star. You beautiful, beautiful man. Stream of luck. Our dynasty has unlocked ordained rulership. It's done what now? Why? Who? How? I didn't pick it. And I'm in charge. Am I not in charge? Oh, we're part of the Etichonan dynasty. Oh, we need to do some fucking murdering then. Do we take over that dynasty? That is a line. So who's Dynasty Head?
Oh, hey, look, we've got a Pope. I mean, we could just... I kind of feel like maybe we should... We should be going full Habsburg anyway. And when we can, founding a... Um, Less of a dynastic tree and more of a dynastic cre uh, queue. Yeah, you're not wrong. Why has he picked like the absolute fucking worst of the dynasty packs? I mean, okay, development growth, the next one's quite nice, but. Yeah, I'm head of House Habsburg. Oh, it is. It's Duke Berthold. It's our ally, so we can't kill him. Hmm. Well, it doesn't give us more family members because they're not Habsburgs. They need to be Habsburgs. Anyway, get out of debt. Don't die. Also, don't call me your worthless vassal. Just because I am a worthless vassal doesn't mean call me a worthless vassal. She's a non-believer. Right, we got Know Thyself. Flip to just giving me lots of money, please. Thank you. Right, Ida has come of age. Yes, you should get married. He looks fun. Every powerful vassal gets me opinions, or I can just get some money, which is perfect. Because when's our truce up? Tell me when my truce is up, please. Oh, I need piety to do it. Ugh. Because of the devotion penalty. We're going to have to go on a pilgrimage, aren't we? And I can't be a sinner to do it. Yeah, okay, well I guess we're going on a pilgrimage then. What's the cheapest pilgrimage we can go on? It doesn't cost a hundred, that's outrageous. Uh, we should probably also embrace celibacy. And work off some stress. Because that will give us a piety, minor piety boost. Which is probably useful. So user, thank you very much for the raid. Are you still Byzantining? You're still Byzantining your way around the world. Um, welcome Raiders. You join us as we're going full frickin' Habsburg. So we're playing CK3. We have started as the one Habsburg ruler in the game who starts over here. And our goal is to form the Archduchy of Austria. Which means you've got to conquer all of this territory. But we are also only allowed to marry other Habsburgs or, relative, or cousins, nieces, aunts. We are going full Habsburg. So, uh, uh, that's going to be uh, interesting. Um, we're also currently declaring war on lots of priests. So, yeah, we're going full Habsburg here. We have managed to grab Salzburg. We do have good allies. I think we are just going to go on pilgrimage now, even though it's going to cost us gold, because we'll pray for some gold events. And we will go to the Vatican. And we will also... They are turbulent bastards, it's true. 
Well, that helped a lot. Bosh! We are back. We're also playing on speed 5, and I'm going to drop that to speed 4 for now. Right, for our priest, what do we need? What's the trait we need to push all our claims at once? What's the one that allows you to do that? Is it a martial one? I can't remember. Divine Right Innovation. I thought there was a lifestyle trait that allowed you to do it as well. Did they make it so it's only an innovation now? Which kind of makes sense. Ducal Conquest. No, Ducal Conquest is slightly different. Ducal Conquest means you always have the right to conquer territory that you are a Duke of. Maybe it's just an innovation now. Just that would have made things easier. Uh, Manigold, my suffragan bishop, frets all through the day, evidently attempting to find the right words. At last, as we make our way to dine, he begins sheepishly. My host, I hear rumours that Gebhard, the Prince Arditurus, seems to use the focus of his enmity. I mean, no fucking shit. I mean, I just want... Yeah, I'm making him. He's our rival. He's absolutely our rival. We did steal Salzburg off of him. As soon as we get back into positives, we can declare war. And we can get this duchy. Although, actually, do we just claim for that? Because then we just can usurp it, can't we? You think only tribal can do subjugate wars? Yeah, I think that's probably right. I think you are probably right there. What's our culture map looking like? That's Bavarian. We want to be Bavarian. Don't we? So we might as well move our capital and adopt local culture. Otto's not gonna Otto's gonna be Swabian. I have a chance with two we should actually replace him now. We might have some better options. Not many better options. Like we're making him You've got a chancellorship of six. It's like brilliant, well done. No, the one I was definitely thinking of was the whole put press all my claims, and maybe that is an innovation now. I'm sure it wasn't a game launch. We do want to be Bavarian, don't we? So let's actually get ourselves converted to Bavarian. Oh, also we can go up, but uh, that's worthwhile. Um, mind you, stealing the duchy means we don't have to pay for it. Which is an advantage. Because we can't really afford to pay for it. And we are 56 already and a drunkard. Is there anyone Otto can marry yet? I am guessing not. No. This is going to be tough, you know. This is going to be a tough run. We really need to stop trying to sway Levante at this point. Right? Now what we should do is that... Mm. 
Still just about young enough to have kids. Can't blackmail her. She really doesn't like us. Maybe find him somewhere from the Etichonan dynasty. Yeah, that's probably fair, because we are limited on the number of Habsburgs we've got so far. Like, once Radbot starts having kids... I mean, once Ida starts popping out kids, it'll be alright. Yeah, is there anyone within the... Right, Etichonan Dynasty. The other thing is I'm not convinced we want to do it yet. Actually, that works out fine. Has Corinthia got any spare daughters? Right, he's going to take over. You have daughters. Are any of those daughters any good? Ooh, hello. And shouldn't you be... Yeah, you're at a chonin. When will more updates of this game arrive? I'm not sure when the next um, drop is. I'd imagine somewhere around Easter. Will be the next thing. I'll be interested to see what they do with it. They've not released a bad add-on yet. Yeah, the Iberian one was really good. I, in the meantime, I highly recommend checking out the Lord of the Rings mod. We will play it again on stream. I was chatting to the developers at PDXCon. We will play that again on stream in the future. Right, I think, um, God. Because it's going to get Otto a ton of prestige. He is going to inherit the car, uh, Corinthia. And it's potentially going to give us a trait into the family. Eager for them to put society and saints back in. I, I, they'll add all of that kind of stuff in. I think we'll get republics sooner rather than later. And republics will be interesting. Right, that's a good marriage, and it's within our rules on marriage. The other thing that you can do to keep things interesting, like we're doing, is remember there are lots of really cool decisions. I mean, you find them up on my YouTube channel, the ones we've done in the past. If you've not gone Norman yet, done something into Norman, that's really good. And just, fun, uh, Sicily is just so much fun to do. Similarly, forming Outremer is really cool. Um, it's fun doing Mongols, starting somewhere up here and creating the Mongol Empire. Uh, they need to fix OP Vatican? Yeah, maybe. I quite like that the Pope is hard to knock down, because he should be. But at the same time, there should be good mechanics for doing so. Come on. I think we are just going for the duchy here. The Mother of a Sword achievement is very interesting, and that is definitely worth doing. We speak Castilian, do we? Uh, we should use the Latin language. Also, can you not lay dying, please, until at least I've got this title? Let's just stop doing that, because that's not going to yield any good results for us. Yeah, I mean, the Pope can murk up like mad. It's the gold that does it. I think actually we just stop that. Let's do religious relations. Oh shit, we got gold. Is our truce up yet? It is. Our truce is up and we can afford it. Just make sure we haven't lost our allies. Nope.
Corinthia. Lotus of Senpai. Oh, he just died. We timed that marriage right. We absolutely timed that marriage right then. Good morning, Batandor. Uh, playing near the Vatican is annoying, but give a dog a bone. Give a dog a bone is really good fun. Um, the thing is, the Pope is beatable. You just have to outmerk him. Uh, also, as we discovered, if you've never watched, um, if you go on YouTube, you'll find my run where we form Rome without ever starting a war. Which requires us to get Rome off the Pope without fighting the Pope. And it is entirely possible, if you know what you're doing, to get the Pope to give you Rome without fighting a war. Uh, it, it's hard, but you can make the Pope give you Rome without actually having to fight a war against him. Right. Yeah, so we want Duke Herman. We want Herman the German in this, don't we? Yeah, 1k troops. And this time around, we might as well raise our own troops. We should also stop Otto from being a knight. Otto, you are not allowed to be a knight. Yes, if you're looking to just learn the game, I've got a tutorial series you can do. Nice snappy little tutorials. Uh, the papacy moved to Salzburg, quite possibly. Did we not get a massive piety hit that we were expecting? Or did we just get the devotion hit again? Right, raise all armies. And run away. Good stuff. Welcome to the party, Corinthia. If you could... Look, we're coming back now. Uh, Baldor, who is frail. But at least it's a kid. Come on in, join the party. Right, you get that siege on, let's get the siege going on. Now actually I am going to do that, because I'm not sure if we're going to get all of this. I'm not sure how, whether we're just going to get the Ducal title, whether we're going to get his land as well. Let's see. One thing is short on now is prestige, but... Consider the frail run. It be hard. You could do it. You could probably do it. Let's go Golden Obligations. Give me passions and hooks. Fifty-five percent chance, and we'll just lose the stress. Let's take the stress away. Right, I'm actually going to disband our troops now. That pushes us back into slight money direction generation. We should have ticking. You just go kill them for me. That'll win the war. Because now that our army's gone, they'll act independently. March. Yeah, he still controls those. But we are at least now a Duke, which is good for Otto. Have you got kids, you naughty man? that one. 
Yeah, see, he holds that one as well. Yeah, tally around level bishop ring, you're right. Can we fab a hook on him? Yes, go for it. Yeah, we need to not die. I think we're going to try and live as long as we can now. So we will flip back to medicine when we can. When can we flip? 1084. Chat, remind me in October next year that we can flip. Uh, Robot Rob redeemed a histo fact. Uh, interesting histo fact is we actually know very little about ancient British gods because they didn't really leave any. They weren't into idols, so they didn't really leave any. So everything we kind of know about ancient British gods is really just because the Romans merged a bunch of their gods, as they always did with the local deities. The Romans were quite um, liberal like that. They firmly believed that when you moved into a new area, you just adopted the local gods into your own pantheon. Because why piss off the local gods? You know. Is any of them... I think we just gained piety. Uh, our scaly vassal who doesn't really like us would gain us more. Uh, but yeah, so the Romans, they would just kind of adopt them into their own pantheon. But what's really cool is the ones they wouldn't adopt into the pantheon were if, if the locals, when they fought back, kind of fought under the banner of a certain god, the Romans wouldn't adopt that one into their own pantheon. They'd destroy all the temples to it, because they'd go, well, that god fought against us. So it was almost like they were kind of like, look, we're going we're gonna to go against it. The, Roman, the way the Romans believe in gods is, is really interesting in itself. And uh, when a future histo fact is redeemed, I'll tell you a bit more about how faith worked for them, because it's a bit weird. And not how we think of faith as working. Uh, damn it. Yeah, divine gardening, basically. That got discovered. That's not going to happen now. Let's just abandon that, shall we? Oh, King's Rook redeemed one. So the Romans didn't really see gods as gods who created them. Hey, Rabbot's come of age. They saw gods as almost like a parallel species that just happened to be much more powerful than us. So it was like the gods were off doing god things and generally didn't give a shit about humans. Another grandson. Do we get some daughters into the dynasty? Uh, so they kind of saw them as sort of a parallel existence of very powerful beings. So when you you weren't so much worshipping them as keeping them sweet because they could potentially intervene on your behalf on things. So in the same way as like if you had a toothache you'd go to a doctor. They saw gods almost the same way. So if you had a toothache you then turn around and pray to the god of toothaches and hope that they might notice you and go, oh, oh, you got a toothache, have you? Well, I'm a divine being, therefore I will, I will cure your toothache. So, like, if your plumbing was fucked, you'd pray to the, you wouldn't just call a plumber, you'd pray to the god of plumbing, because either the plumber's going to fix it, or maybe the god of plumbing will do it first. So you'd say to the god of plumbing, if you sort out my leak, I will leave an offering to you at your temple. And you just kind of hope that it will happen. And if it does happen, you then go and pay by doing the offering. Um, it's sort of how in my the book I'm working on at the moment, this is why the divines, this is how, essentially how the divines work in, in my Goblin Laundrette novel. Um, it's sort of, you know, uh, you kind of do that. Uh, I joined the stream immediately current by so if your plumbing's fucked. Yeah, if your plumbing's fucked, you pray in, in Rome, you, you pray to the god of plumbing. And he might intervene before the plumber gets there. And if he does, you ring up the plumber and say, uh, don't worry about it, the god of plumbing sorted this out. Um, 
and the plumber would say, okay, no problem, I'll go to the next job then, and then you go and make an offering to the uh, Temple of Plumbing. So yeah, that's how gods worked to the Romans. That's why they were quite happy to kind of go, oh right, yeah, Minerva is now the same as Sullis. Because they just saw these as other people having different names for these kind of alternate dimension things. And that's why it, it's a really interesting thing. Um, and I think it's something that none of us really, or most people don't really understand because they don't, they don't get that we're so used to the kind of the, the Christian or Muslim mostly approach to, to divineness, the way, where the God is a creator God, that we just don't realize that the Romans just thought the gods just literally didn't give a fuck. They just happened to be these all-powerful beings that we lived alongside on the planet. Which I find just fascinating. Right, let's see if we can get our health boost. See if we can scrape out a few more years. Very transactional worship. Exactly, it's purely transactional worship. Which is why they would, when, uh, when they perceived a god as fighting against them when they were conquering an area, their first act would be to destroy all that god's temples. Because by doing so, they're essentially cr cutting off the ability of people to do transactional worship to them. And transactional worship to someone who has, in their eyes, fought against them. Uh, how much did that benefit them in creating and running their empire? Hugely. Because it meant you never really had religious strife with with similar pantheon gods within the Roman Empire. You might get cultural strife, but the Romans weren't really turning around and going, you can't worship your gods. Which actually, to your average farmer or whatever else, was the thing that really mattered. They didn't give a shit who they paid taxes to. Oh, why are you fucking with my claim fabrication? Um... Like, they didn't give a shit who you pay taxes to. You, know, you just go, well, can I still worship my local gods? And the Romans go, yeah, of course you can. Tell us who they are and we'll build some temples to them as well. Because clearly they're the local gods around here and we want them to be happy. So yeah, absolute, I find that absolutely fascinating. I just do. We, we have a tendency to look at the past through the window of the present. And it's just always wrong. The fun one, I can't remember their name. There is literally a Roman god of manure piles. I can't remember their name. But there is a Roman god of manure piles. Because obviously manure piles are important, you know, in farming. So you want to make know that there is a divine being that makes good, that keeps your manure good. You're going to do some, some offerings to them. Holy shit indeed, exactly. Uh, that type of worship is also not as dead as it might seem, especially in American folk religions like in Appalachia. Yeah, yeah, no, totally. There you go, Sterquilinus. Ster god of fertilizer. That's our man. The Roman god of manure. Right, we now have a claim on Salzburg and... We really so first things first actually we need to move our capital to here. Because that's gonna catch us out otherwise. There's not much point us culture converting to Hold up, did I just gain a claim on somewhere that I didn't He gained a claim, didn't he? Little shit, that's what it was. I do remember there being a lot of deities from twos to blacksmiths. Yeah, well, exactly. Because there's a... There's one for everything. Because they're just divine beings that happen to be super interested in that area of thing. And, like, will therefore pay, its, pay attention to it. As far as, as far as the Romans were concerned, the gods sort of treated us like pets, where they gave a shit about us at all. So, the last thing you want is gods paying attention to you, generally, but you do want to be able to drag their attention to you when there's something you want. Which, yeah, like, it's just not a sort of Judeo-Christian concept. 
not a thing we do. Right, can we revoke that? This is the real question. As soon as that truce is over, we can revoke his title. Now, Corinthia is... Stay and Mark Rebel. Maybe. Hmm. When so much of your life is ruled by chance, the idea of an active intercession intercession your pantheon seems to arise, arise remarkably frequently. Well, yeah, also because you need to be able to explain why these things happen. And that's why so many of the kind of the Roman myths and all of this kind of stuff re revolve around gods just causing mischief or chance things or just starting around to vaguely do shit. Because that's what matters. That's how they see it. They kind of go, well, why would a god get involved in this stuff by choice? Just why would they? Right, we are going to claim on that. When is our truce up with our vassal? Um, I wish we'd show you truces on there. 1088. Okay, we've just got to make it to June next year. I mean, arguably, conspiracy theories are the modern equivalent of that. If you think about it. It's the idea that there's this all-powerful, shadowy cabal. Um, have I just become a cannibal? It was only meant to be a short outing, a pleasant tour of the countryside. It's now been days since we saw another living person. I have just become a cannibal. Yeah, so in the past, you didn't really believe in conspiracies. You used hu human pattern matching created divine, divine beings. There is very little chance that we're going to do well out of this, so I'm just going to befriend the fellow vassals. Whereas today, because we don't really do that kind of thing, actually I think that is one of the things that contributes to conspiracy theories, because people would like the idea of believing. Oh, you lovely child. Oh man, Radbot. Radbot. We have a good Habsburg. Yeah, so now we don't really do that, so we create these all-powerful things instead. The Duke of Bavaria wants an alliance. Yes, go on then. Sure. So yeah, we, we, we kind of go, we want to see a pattern in this. We want this to be a thing. Oh, it must be because there's an all-powerful all cabal working against us. Don't die yet. Both of them failed to impress me. Don't fucking die yet, dude. Just get me this one thing. Need you to live for another six months at least. Are conspiracy theories more like mystery cults than esotericism? I think they're somewhere halfway between the two. to be honest. Oh, we're well again. Good. Are we going Rabbot as air now? No, we're not. Because Ermengarde is comely. If she lives and pops out some sprogs for Otto, then we're going to have intelligent and potentially get comely and then we'll marry them together. If not, we'll look at what we're doing. Otto is actually quite good statistically for a non-trait person. So yeah, human behaviour doesn't change. I think this is the thing that... Like, 
we behave the same way our ancestors did. We just have different cumulative knowledge to them and different resources available, and that means we do things in different ways. Uh, we divorced the Duchess. Very well. Now. Is there anyone worth us marrying? Because we could now pop out a young Sprog. Or do we just marry... An interesting theory about Jewish monotheism initially developing from the pantheon. Yahweh was seen as the god of fight, god fighting on the side of the proto-Jews, competing with de deities like Baal when they went to war. It was only later when, when they were developed from being our god in the pantheon to the only real god. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think that's probably a natural path for it. Do we still have to marry a Habsburg? We only need to inherit as a Habsburg. So, I would argue that as we're 63, we could theoretically marry a non-Habsburg. We just probably have to stick on Embrace Celibacy. Or we try and have a good kid, but that would require someone in the dynasty. What's our dynasty called again? Is it the... I always keep forgetting it. The Etichonen. Which just sounds like a type of manga. There's no one in the Etichonen that's marriageable with decent traits. I think we just soldier on as a single man. Other thing we could do is seduce. We can have non-habs bits on the side, so we could just seduce someone. But I don't think there's anyone worth seducing. I, I think given that we don't really have... I mean... He's inheriting the bishopric of Lucerne. Do we hold a bishopric? shouldn't hold a bishopric. But that'll be over there, wouldn't it? Bishopric of Lucerne, that's fine. Uh, Jordad. Jordad P. Thank you very much for the follow. So yeah, that's, you know, that, there you go. There's our Sunday morning chatter about gods and how they work. Um, don't get that on most streams. Right. Close to being able to revoke. I am not eating my mayor. Gods are usually banned subject in most stream chats. True. I feel like Roman gods are allowed to talk about. Not that mayor, at least. He does. He, he would be stringy. He's an old mayor. Right, we should be able to revoke. Now, he's going to rebel against us. Should be able to just slam him down. Let's get back to his garden first. <laughs> Motherfucker. He should not have been able to raise all his armies that far. Let's get the Bavarians in. That's all we need. 
probably gonna lose this fight now. It was worth the gamble, but... Oh yeah, sure, form up there. If you form up near him, you're fucking done this. Oh, we're gonna get in in time! Uh, money. Oh, we've one guy left! <laughs> there was just one guy fighting there, and uh, we got in there. Like that one soldier, man. We need to find him. We need to find that one soldier so we can just promote him. He's just standing there facing down the freaking Archbishop and then like 2,000 fucking Bavarians turn up <laughs> and they help him. Like the Arch Archbishop's there like, like, oh, you, uh, I'm going to kill you now, you know. And the soldier's like, you will not take me. And then the Archbishop's like, you and what army? And then fucking 2,000 Bavarians roll over the hill. Good morning, Good Sonahedron. Morning. Happy New Year. How is our furry emperor? Uh, our furry emperor is fine. He's snoozing in the other room. And uh, actually Max, I think, is asleep on the spare bed as well. Uh, Wing to Sar Energy. Yes, definitely. House of Schwarzenegger. I really genuinely wish. I feel like this... Oh, look. It was the mayor. It was definitely the mayor that we chose not to eat. 65 years old, one-eyed, wounded, just waving his sword around. It's 100% Mayor Reinhold. I'm very glad I didn't eat him there. This is why we don't eat people. We really don't need to be doing that. Filbert, Jesus, Radbot. Throwing out some quality kids here. Eat the bishop. Yeah, maybe. Thing is, if we're lucky, we'll get one more um, revoking on him before we die. If we're lucky. Because as things stand, Radbot is going to inherit. Um, Argyle, which is good. Uh, we did capture the bishop. So let's enforce demands. I would very much like to revoke. Annoyingly, we can only revoke one of them. Oh no, it will let us revoke the other one. Bosch. Has he got any money? Got 23. I mean, that's going to lose us 140 stress, but it is going to cost us a ton of piety. He is our rival, though. I mean, or we could just eat him. Let's just eat him. There we go, we ate a bishop. Do we need, like, a timer to of how many bishops we've eaten in the game? Is our, is our sub-goal here to eat as many bishops as possible? Yeah, it's a sort of like Pope snack. It's like in Japan where you get like those kind of fake pork treats that you can just buy. Yeah, what is that happening over here? Corinthia is nowhere near as powerful as they used to be. They lost a ton of land down here. Austria doing all right. Um.
Does cannibalism spread like the witch train? No, I don't think it does. Uh, who did stay him up piss off? That is a good question. Who did stay him up piss off? Defending against Count Ottokar of Merschlag in the war against the tyranny. They tried to revoke and they fucked it up. Presumably, he has good allies. Right, we now control the whole of Salzburg and we really need to get this a bit beefier. This is going military. All the quarries is nice. I think it's probably a good point for us to go Bavarian if we can afford it. You're right then, Napoleon. Going for a wander, let me just check to see if Max is still asleep. Yes, Max is sparked out on the bed. That's fine. Wife to help with stewardship. Yes, we do need a wife now, you're right. And as we're not having babies with them, they don't need to be dynastic. Which is a shame, because Ida here would throw out some good kids. I know it hits us in prestige, but I'm not that fussed about it. Happy New Year, Lunar Wolf. Which location is going to become the money place? Ideally Austria when we get it. Right, the important thing now though is we do need to embrace it. Happy New Year, one. I don't want to have any kids. We... Converting to local culture costs prestige, doesn't it? Let's do that. Let's do that. Right, we're now Bavarian, which is good. So anything useful we can petition our liege for. Raise county control would be nice. Give it a go. Can we influence any of them usefully? Well, she's got a decent dip. We pushed her to that. And then try. No, we didn't get her. Oh well. Right, we will push her back to manage the main. There is someone we can ransom. The bishop's not going to like us, that's just a matter of fact. Happy New Year, Cora! Welcome back to the chat. We need a new marshal. Rip our OP marshal. He was fucking amazing. He'll do. Wouldn't surprise me if we get murdered, by the way. Otto, hurry up. She got better, so that's good. Radbot is churning out the good boys. Right, how's the inheritance looking? Do we actually need to cheese it in any way, or is it just going to work naturally? No, he's going to get Schaumburg, and we don't want him to. So I think we do need to work out what we do about that. Can we not disinherit him? Oh, because we're not head of house. Yeah, that's the problem. I feel like we might need to... It's going to be tough for us to become head of house. Spymaster hates us. That is probably not good. Problem is that there's not really 
apart from Otto. Anyone who doesn't hate us. Can I make him a bishop? I don't think he'll go for it. Just because he's 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 got titles coming to him. I've got a male with 24. Oh, yeah, we do. That'll help slightly. We will sway him. So the other thing we could do is grant that to someone very old. Then it'll inherit back to us. That's one thing we could do. I think that would work. Essentially we grant... What we'd be doing is we'd grant um, someone old into that title which may not be the best because it means we lose it but it would also at least mean they worked independently on rebuilding control and then when they die childless we get it back Essentially what we do, for example, is marry him to someone old. Schaumburg. Which should mean... There we go, he's back to just Argyle and Lucerne. That should work. Does mean we need a new Marshal. No great marshals. Well, I guess you get them. We've only eaten one person so far. Rip Levente. We never actually managed to sway you that much. He's losing a Liberty War now as well. I mean, do we make a bit of a grab for some of Stayermark while we can? What do we need to be able to knock out a, um, a thingy? A sub house. I forget, it's a long time since I've had to do it. The alternative is we take over the Etichonen, but to do that we need more troops than he does. One thing I wish we had uh, is the ability to decide who inherits what under partition. It always decides in the worst way. Um, there are ways you can get around it. 
as you've seen there, one of them is giving pe land to, to people who are whatever. The other thing is you can give people titles that they aren't going to inherit, but then you're going to disinherit to do things. I will treasure the thought. Is there anything else we should be doing? Rather, the Bavarians didn't claim on my land. Maybe we should be cycling a claim on something over here. Linz, maybe? Hallstatt. Amstetten. I mean, Graz is the... Congrats. Kind of comes down to whether we want to do eco dev. Now, Otto's going to have a harder problem. Otto, because Otto's still only, his wife's only 10. Conning in grass, well, yeah. Because we are relatively weak versus our neighbours at the moment. Which is potentially problematic. We can stabilize this kingdom a bit. Right, Steyrmark saved itself. So Thuringid doesn't have a lot of allies anymore. I'm not convinced that is our best play. I think our best play right now is eco -Dev. Gottfried is lisping but quick. I think Eco Dev is our is our big play. Right, let's get some bowmen. One well, I tell you what we should be doing is Yeah, we haven't really got the intrigue to pull off fabricating hooks, so there's no point. The inheritance on this is going to be the tricky part. Because the inheritance point is going to be the one where we lose all of our allies. allies. And then we have to w think very carefully about how we get that back. Because we're not going to have anyone we can marry off for alliances. Good news is, we are going to get... Corinthia. So we should be alright. Oh hey, household savings, nice. Uh, right, Bechter's Garden. Give me... We're going to want barracks. Going to want some barracks. That's 150. Might be time for end of life chicanery. Yeah, kind of... I think ideally we want Otto married first. Oh yeah, I hadn't turned that off. I mean, 
maybe we go for Gratz just because we can. Really need a better marshal. We can get like out trooping so we get the dynasty is quite critical to us. We'll get there. Sixty eight, and we're in poor health. I'd rather Otto didn't duel people. Can you not please Otto? So one more month and we get barracks. Right, we'll cycle that. I do kind of want Choco Leibniz at some point. What do we need to do to get him on the throne? Quite a lot. That's not going to happen. Spouse is doing God's work for us. So we've got light footman, bowman, pikeman. Some armoured footman would be nice. Arguably, actually, man is manganels or onagers better. I always forget. Manganels. Manganels might be a good one to get. I don't know. I think we want. Yeah, we are going to want mangonels. Arguably increasing these in size might be a better va value for money judgment. What do we need to knock that up to two? We just need the money. Deus Vault! Crusades are now available. Crusades are now a thing we can do. Right. So yeah, I think... I think troop numbers are really our priority here. Because if we can just get our theoretical tally up to about 2k before he dies we're pretty secure and stair mark are pretty strong there is a crusade going on What's the crusade actually for? I assume Jerusalem. For the Kingdom of Pomerania. Interesting. Ida is shagging Count Otto of Amstetten. Is she in my court? She is in my court. She does have boys. We do have some Habsburgs. Really need some girl Habsburgs. That's what we're missing, is we're actually missing girl Habsburgs. Well, 
Where's Pomerania? Pomerania's there, isn't it? We kind of want to participate in that. Yeah, we'll pledge. Like, we're not going to get the beneficiary status. But hey, why not? Stash the cash, we might get that. I feel like there's no harm in it. So we don't want to spend our cash, we're going to want that, because if we are going to go into a crusade... Like, pure numbers terms, we should collectively win. Pagans in 1095. Yeah, um, you get a whole bunch around here. So, like, they're, um... Slovianskan. Oh, we will be dead within a year. Yeah, we're just stashing the cash then. Is there anything else we want to do with this ruler? I don't think so. I think we've done everything we need to do with him. I think. But if someone has... other ideas... Right, so Otto's now got his wife. That is good. Right. Crusades. Take out life insurance. Yeah, that will be useful. Right. I think we actively participate in this. Because it's not impossible that... There's actually a good chance we win this. And it's not impossible that Ida gets something out of it. Because once the frickin' Holy Roman Emperor turns up, it's all good. <laughs> guys, can you actually... Oh, are we gonna... Oh, Jesus. Fucking hell, guys. Just... Come on, get in there, get in there, get in there, we're gonna win. Shit, that's too early. That is too early. Why, why did you have to just die then? On the plus side, we are now a dynasty head. Oh, hang on, we're dynasty head. Job done. Oh, we don't have enough prestige. Danzig or war, indeed. Um, right, we need to give that out then. It needs to go to someone really fucking old. Can we give it to a mayor? Can we marry you to someone infertile? 47, yes. And you're injured. Accept first. Thank you. Oh, just in time. 
Can we get some Fs in chat, please, for Duke Werner, who died at 72? Um, and ironically, we would have had enough. How fucking annoying is that from the battle? Well, no, we wouldn't, because Duke, uh, Duke Otto has that prestige. Sorry, yeah, bees. Can we get a bee? Can we get a bee for Miao? For a Duke Werner, who did some seriously good things, if you think of what we started as. So, we will get that back. Uh, we apparently won't. Why aren't we getting that back? Yeah, thank you. What's that all about? Right. So we're down on troops, but that's fine. That's reset our beneficiary levels. So I think we do go either again. Now, we do still have our Corinthian Alliance, so that's good. That's what we need. That should have set Radbot up here in Argyle, which is good. So that's now Habsburg territory. So it does mean we want to think about what we're doing next. He should have been going reasonably well down this. He's gone down Architect. That's not bad. That's not bad for us. I'm not convinced. Do we need to continue down that? Does give us holding construction cost reduction. There is a female Swedish monarch ruling a kingdom in Pomerania. Is she a Danzig queen? I see what you did there. I mean, architect isn't. D divided attention is nice for the domain limit increase, but I don't think we're going to need it. Because we're at two at seven. I think we go learning. I think we cycle that. Because we can't take stair mark at the moment anyway. So the good news is people like us. We do need a new steward. We will do Count Hartwig. We're definitely not having Niklaus as our spy master. We really need a good spy master, one that doesn't hate us. Are we Bavarian? Did we not culture flip? Is that our problem? No, we are Bavarian. Right, you can be Chancellor. Shockingly bad marshals. Why do these not like us? I suppose we are deceit deceitful and sadistic. I can kind of see where they're coming from. We're going to get murdered. We are so getting murdered. <laughs> Why does no one like us? Oh yeah, all that stuff I did. All our stuff our dad did. But also we do have some bad traits. Like our piety is in the gutter. We will negotiate an alliance with Radbot. What war can we declare on them? Oh, people's claims. He sounds nice. Oh, 
Fetak, your D Impaler. Oh, has he got one of my Dejures? Oh, interesting. Halstat is a Dejure. Both of these are my Dejures. We should be focused on getting them off of him. So, actually, what we probably want to do is, theoretically, we want to be murdering him. It's a big ask. Yeah, rep is our bigger problem. Now, do we have... Our Spymaster is literally our rival. Yeah, let's not do that. Can we might find you, anyone? Isn't going to hate us. He's probably not going to hate us. Because he's also sadistic. Minus 50. Um, gain 19. Sticking him on the council will probably help. Apparently we have a fine brooch. A monthly stewardship lifestyle boost thing. Nice. Time to find God, yeah. See, that won't increase his opinion. Um, game, can you not put those boxes above the thing? We just have to go for swaying him. We are so getting murdered. 100% getting murdered. Anyone else we can marry off? No. Let's have a bad marshal. Radbot about, about, can't rebel against us. Thimo can. Suspect court politics is probably the most use she can do for us at the moment. We desperately need the piety we're going to get out of this war. we've got terrible leaders. Right, at least we, we should get the Crusader bonus. That will help. Yeah, we get a trait if we command the Crusader army. Oh, bleeding cash. Important thing is our bishop likes us. Hertwig likes us. If 
we survive the first couple of years, it'll be fine. They're going to beat us. Cheers, everyone, for running the fuck away. But do we actually get a lot of do we get a lot of crusade contribution. Oh motherfucker, we got captured. That might not end well. This might not end well, you know. We will see what happens. They will win the crusade. Uh, Radbot wants a fine brooch. Damn it. That's a fucking fine brooch. Can you Crusaders just actually win this war, please? Apparently I am the dynasty head again. On the plus side, our armies are building up and we're not losing any money anymore. We have lost our steward. Which probably means... Ugh. I'm not making it Niklaus. It's going to have to be Radbot. <laughs> Save us, Radbot. Yeah, not, not far off. 98, so we are going to win this. Can you not throw me into... Oh, he's tortured us as well. Oh, well, we're going to die. I guess Radbot is getting the throne. Which isn't actually the worst thing in the world for us, given Radbot, Radbot's kit. You have to feel a bit sorry for Otto, though. He didn't really exactly get a good run of it, did he? Nice today, let us keep the circlet. Yeah, I mean, well, we are a duke. We are in prison and going to die, but, you know. Oh, there we go. Can we get some Fs for the 16 month long reign? And it is an F, let's be honest, it's not a B. Can we get some Fs for the reign of Duke Otto, who lasted an entire 16 months in charge? We are now Duke Radbot. It's a good job we didn't disinherit him. Yeah, it still lasted longer than Liz Truss. But... The thing with that is, now this fucks us slightly, we really need her to not be our wife. Because that means young Verna here is our heir now. We actually have some decent kids, at least they've got traits. All hail Radbot the first. Of course, she's fun. She's an irritable, inappetetic drunkard. But she is very smart. Right. You are going to marry Gottfried. It is going to give us the Corinthian alliance. Is that the best alliance for us now, though? Arguably, we want Bavaria, don't we? Yeah, we really want Bavaria. Can we get an alliance with Bavaria? No, I don't think we can. Ugh. That's a problem. 
That is a problem. Now we could give Baldor. She's already got kids. She's not married. Ida is not married. Ida would give us an alliance. He's not going to marry a son to her because she's too old. So Austria is our next best bet. Oda's already married though. Nothing we can do that's going to get us an alliance. I mean, maybe we go for Stayermark. Is there anyone we can get an alliance with this Stayermark? Don't think so. Oh yeah, Otto, Otto went full Richard the Lionheart. Otto went full Richard the Lionheart and um, sodded off to Crusade, got himself stuck in prison, but then died. Right, what is the best alliance we can get with Gottfried? Because really all we're after is numbers. Kingdom of Castile. Hello. We only have to kill one person to get her onto the throne. This be little Godfrey. If we play it right, only two. Kill those two and she inherits. Does anyone want to kill a kid? He's inbred. Of course. Apparently we're compassionate, that's annoying. Yeah, we might not pull off Habsburg Spain there. How has this crusade not won yet? What are you doing? AI, please. There we go. Holy shit, we did well out of that, though. Pomerania is now on the map. Did Ida get a title? She should have done, really. She did not. That's annoying. Ida can still have kids. Maybe we marry Ida to get some traits. So she could get us Crane. I guess the question comes what we're doing with with ourselves now. Yeah, the Crusade was for essentially well, essentially Brandenburg, if you're thinking in EU four terms. It was essentially for Brandenburg. It was, a, it was a really nice, nice crusade from our perspective. Now the other thing to think about is we're not te technically allied to Corinthia now. We 
and Klagenfurt would be quite nice. They got the Apple Rain. He's just had a daughter. That gets us an Austrian alliance. I really want to get our land back off of Stuermark. Never seen them go for anything other than Jerusalem. They do tend to go for Jerusalem first. I'm not convinced it got redirected. I think it did just choose something else. Right, Crane is not a useful alliance for us. Steyermark is arguably our target of choice. He's wounded and, fla and flagellant. He's, he's probably going to die sooner rather than later. If we had a hook on the Pope, we could get that. Austrian alliance and then claim it through inheritance. I think maybe that is the way we go. I think an Austrian alliance is just good for us. The issue is we can't... So she's got pneumonia. Hedwig here is probably going to live. But he, ah, she's his second daughter. What if What if we married Philbert to Hedwig? Cause he will go for a non matrilineal. His wife is forty four, they're probably not gonna have any more kids. And his eldest daughter has got pneumonia. And it's probably killable. Which would put Habsburg on the throne of Austria, which would allow us to marry in and inherit Austria. It's a bit of a gamble. The gamble basically being that we need to keep Berthold here alive. I think we're pretty safe on the throne now. We do need some councillors though. But you can definitely have that job. We are Bavarian. Bertold isn't the current heir. Bertold is. Bertold is the current heir of of um the Duchy of Austria. So Bertold's gonna get Austria means it's going to come down to his two daughters. Assuming she's betrothed to my son. Fine. Hartwig can have that. He's the least terrible one we've got. And you get that. We have a better spy master now that doesn't hate us. Niklaus, oh, because we're not rival to Niklaus anymore. So, yoink. Now, at the same time,
Do we betroth her for the temporary? No, we've got the Castilians, which should... Should hold us as an alliance terms, especially if we spend our money on troops. Because we did just get a ton of fucking cash from that. Does the Pope like us enough to give us some money? Probably not, but we might once we've spent some. So we could get Baldor, the Duchy of Corinthia. We do need better knights, you're right. Kind of feel like we should marry him for traits. He is still fragile. Where did we go with in learning? Oh, nice. Good work. Nicely done, Rad Radbot. I think we're going to push you down, Intrigue. Because I don't think you've got good entry. But if we can get some plots going on here, that might work in our advantage. Stay a mark is the focus, I think, of what we want to conquer. Because at the very least, we want to get our two territories back here. How murderable are you? Potentially murderable. A couple of murder traits we can probably pull that off. Right, give me some field upgrades there. In Bechter's garden, give me probably quarries. How are you his primary heir? But that should inherit back to me. When Hartwig dies. We should search for a physician because we can. Are we low on knights? We could. Let's spend some stuff to invite some knights. Can't get a divorce. Yeah, I mean, with the compassionate we can work around, we should absolutely go on. He is a journaling eunuch, and she is a grey eminence. She's 21, could be useful to marry off. I fell off But we will invite her to court. Let's do a feast as well. And... We're going to weak hook on that mayor. We'll do one more man at arms. We probably do want mangonels, don't we? Duchess is pregnant. Let's do that. I 
It gives us a troop boost. Yeah, take the range, Judith. Why not? Right, that got uh, got us Dynasty Head. Because we out truth truth Carpe Carpathia, go home, you're drunk. Uh, Werner got himself wounded. God damn it, Werner. See if we get a better position choice this time. Why is it consistently giving us bad positions? That's better. There we go. Uh, that's definitely a bug that that event double triggers. Are you any good? I mean, kinda. Now he's a known criminal that's been excommunicated. Albrecht. Albrecht's alright. Uh, right, I will negotiate your release and you just recruit. That saved me 100 gold. got the prestige so we might as well try this. Council appointment, royal visit, bailiffs, bailiffs please. Oh yes! Nice. Two years now left on that. Um, can you not imprison my good steward? Right, we need to get back to being dynasty head so we can do some disinheriting. How is he dynasty head over me? He's got less troops. Is it a theoretical limit? Has he got a higher theoretical limit? It's 2300 is his theoretical limit. So yeah, we need to out troop him again. We can do that though, we expand our various buildings. Be alright. When we get it back, we probably want to do a burst of disinheritance. Uh, you want to raise Gottfried by Hedwig? She's a treacherous villain. You become Franconian? No. We do not want a Franconian uh, leader. So Right chat, what are we doing here? I think we're reasonably stable. What we really want to do is get a hold of Stuermark. At the very least we want our territory out of Stuermark. I completely forgot we were still going for Graz. You know what, fuck it. Okay, we've got a crank claim on Graz we can use now if we need it. Now you're sat on religious stuff. You're doing increased control. Our spymaster doesn't hate us. Do an intrigue challenge. Yeah, we're gonna go. Shit. It was worth a try. It was worth a try, chat. 
Why wouldn't we do it? Hail the Kaiser. All hail the Kaiser. Uh, Werner is going to be lustful. That's fine. He is zealous, paranoid and lustful. And brutally mauled. He's only severely injured now. He might survive. He's young and healthy. So Filbert is betrothed off. Right, how close are we to Carpath Corinthian? Oh, he's got good troops again. That's a problem. Hold up. He's got no sons, you know. That's going to play in our favour. Because those titles are going to split. She's not related to us, that's the problem. You try and pet a wolf or something. Yeah, I think so. He definitely did something crazy and got himself uh That said We're not far off being able to win that now. How's he got that alliance? Markwart and Gertrude. Is that his sister? Is there a non-brutal type of mauling? Well, yeah, this is the question. I feel like after this kid, we probably need to stop having kids. Because we might need to do... I think we might need to do some downstairs dungeoning here. Because unless we can get the head of... Thingy back, we're going to have problems. Right, if we can get a swift execution and a job done right, I reckon we'll be in a position to actually murder some people. Control has increased. Got some control going on in Argyle. Still severely injured. Don't really want a rival. Damn it, the rivals. Fuck me, we have a lot of sons. Okay, this is now officially a problem. Right, I think we can go... Oh, can we... Yeah, we can. Embrace celibacy. Right. Uh, we will become... Do you want to be improvident? Oh, let's fo follow in the family tradition of becoming a drunkard. It's family tradition at this point to be a drunkard. Um, I mean, do we essentially knock Werner off? No. No, we'll let him try. We'll let him try. Pause Pro, thank you for the follow. Oh, he keeps unlocking the shitty fucking things. Actually, to be fair, treasured knowledge isn't that bad, is it? 
Treasured knowledge gives you... Oh, what's, the, what's the one that treasured knowledge gives you? It's a boost to... Permanent boost to dev growth. That's okay. We need that before he takes another stupid one, though. Yeah, I feel some downstairs nurseries coming on. I mean, that said... It is useful to have lots of Habsburgs. Peasant rabble, not a problem. Like, lots of Habsburgs is useful to us. Right, you can train commanders. I think we're going to shift her to dev growth. We do get a bonus for it. Such a soothing voice to lurk while working. Well, you no. Know, we try. He is an adequate bargainer. Well, he's not the worst in the world, but he's not great either. Uh, Ermgard has given birth to... Slavko. Good for you, Slavko. Yeah, we're kind of boxed in here in terms of what we can do, so... Uh, Ludwig von... Ludwig von Schweipend. He's a 12. Oh man, that's our new marshal. Uh, sorry, Hartwig, but uh, that guy you just found is really cool. Right, Corinthia. Yeah, finally a decent marshal. That's exactly what we needed. Very much needed that. Um, who's burning my lands, motherfucker? The bonfire's sparks drift lazily up into the night sky with smoke, but I can't enjoy the scene as I normally would. My rival Heinrich stands triumphantly in front of the fire, challenging me to approach. In my hand is my very own... He's going to put my book on the fire. Oh, you little shit. You absolute little shit. You've got a prowess of two. I've got a prowess of seven. It's going to be like the worst fight in the world. This is a proper, proper, terrible fight. We are the aspiring blade master. Like, this is a Bridget Jones level terrible fight. Yeah, this is a proper slap fight. For a few brief moments, Count Heinrich and I pace in lazy half circles, each watching for an opening. I raise my hammer, ready to defend myself, while he clutches his spear firmly to hand. This fight may only be till first blood, but that doesn't leave my nerves. With a sudden twitch, our bout begins. By valour and vigilance, scum, screams my opponent, swinging his spear furiously at, around and near me. I know, it'd be more like, by valour and vigilance, scum. I do love we can just shout A-E-I-O-U at him. But we are the fastest blade in Salzburg, so we are going to go with that one. 
In battle, I'm an artist. Every strike is a brush stroke. Every fallen foe or gout of blood, a splash of paint. As I brandish my hammer, switching seamlessly between flourish and strike, I paint a picture of agony across my foe. Heinrich couches his spear in a strangely familiar fashion. Happy stream Vesta, everyone! Bloody Drongo and viewers, welcome to the stream. Give them, wave your emotes chat if you've got emotes to wave at our wonderful raiders and join them in celebrating Stream Vesta. Um, you join us in the middle of the world's worst duel. Um, so, uh, so I hope as a oh, would have been today when I was watching earlier. You'd have been um, it was uh, Rimworld earlier, wasn't it? So yeah, so you join us in CK3. We are playing Crusader Kings 3. We are playing as the Habsburgs. We started as the only Habsburg in the game all the way over here. And our goal is to build up the Archduchy of Austria. And we've conquered Salzburg already to do this. But, but, there is a problem with this. Or a self-imposed problem. We have decided we are only allowed to marry other Habsburgs. We are going full Habsburg here absolute full fucking Habsburg uh, and it's been an adventure so far but our current Duke is Duke Radbot who is a bit shit at fighting and has ended up in a duel with his rival Count Heinrich who luckily is even shitter so you join us in a proper proper handbags fight this is the most handbags of handbag fights um oh yes clean bloodline yes exactly uh, so we, we we're going with you. We can marry other Habsburgs or people who are either like nieces, nephews, cousins. Like so, that's what we can do. Um, may your chin game be ever strong. Our chin game is actually quite reasonable as well. So we're doing we're doing well. So yeah, we are we are absolutely going for uh, for Habsburging the shit out of this. But this is a proper Bridget Jones-esque slap fight that we currently have underway. Thank you to everyone who just followed, by the way. It is very good of you. Um, and also to Vibara for giving out five community subs. That was incredibly generous of you. Um, so yeah, we are in the middle of this slap fight, which is going about as well as a slap fight for our blood does. But we think we're better, because we are relatively. In battle, I'm an artist. Every stroke is a brush stroke. Every fallen foe or gout of blood, a splash of paint. As I brandish my hammer, switching seamlessly between flourish and strike, I paint a picture of agony across my bow. Heinrich couches his spear in a strangely familiar fashion, then executes a near-perfect piercing thrust that I could swear I've seen before. My form is good with only small errors, and Heinrich's stance is formidable. I have yet to open up my opponent's guard at all and see no way yet to claim victory. Uh, yeah, we do have Barbershop active, so... Uh, yeah, and the rival was trying to burn our books. That's why we're fighting him. We are going to go with... We will throw some dirt in his eyes. Damn, we're bad at this. We're just going to go to the ball. Uh, I feel like we do actually have to shout, shout A-E-I-O-U scum at him. I feel like that is the best thing to do. It's the kind of thing we would do. This is the worst duel ever. We are the fastest blade in Salzburg though, so we are going to do that. And we won! I whirl my hammer with a deadly flourish, weaving a song of pain across my opponent with every blow. There is an art to true combat, and I am nothing if not artistic. Um. Heinrich struggles to his feet, battered and bruised after our duel. His eyes burn as brightly as the bonfire he stands beside as he sees me tuck my fine lawn ordinance under my arm. Yeah, don't steal and try and burn my books, man. Um, we're not going to give it to him. Fuck that. Uh, peasants. Fuck you, peasants. Where you at, peasants? Come here. What I love is, um, essentially, yeah, this duel will be like every 70th minute rugby fight. It is absolutely that. Complete with people screaming on from the sounds. Uh, and our character is named Radbot, and that was the game's choice. It has decided this is apparently a valid German name. So shout out to any German viewers who are now legally obliged to call your children Radbot. That is just Twitch lore. 
that is absolutely what you have to do. Like, I don't make Twitch lore, Twitch makes Twitch lore, and Twitch lore is that you now must hit, name your children. Um, Radbot. Have we got more? Oh, fuck me. More peasants. Oi, peasants, come here. At least we know how much we lose when all our armies are raised now. Also, we've lost our spy master. That's not good. Do we have another spy master that doesn't hate us? Because that is always my preference. Yeah, okay, it can be you. Uh, we'll leave wifey on managed domain. So our big challenge at the moment is really that we're kind of boxed in by alliances. If we can get a bit better at murder, we can deal with that. There are five radbots running around in my game right now. Uh, that name, how is it written again? I'm in Germany, so my first Barra one may gifted suffer. three months of tier one to Bloody Drongo. They gifted oh, eight Barra. months in the Thank channel. You. Very kind of you. But yeah, how was how was today's uh, rim welding, Bloody Drongo? I didn't actually manage to get to watch a lot of it in the end, um, but it looked suitably dangerous. Uh, and there is Radbot, Duke Radbert of Salzburg. So yes, German people, this is apparently a valid. Swabian name, because we were Swabian at the time when uh, when he was born. So, feel free to blame Swabians for that as a problem. He, d he does essentially sound like a bad Twitch bot. Right, kill that in force. In force. Did we actually get anyone good from that? I should actually have looked. Because if he's actually any good... He is a giant of a man. Sir, would you consider joining my employ? You're also very good. Right. I do think we are going to need to make use of the downstairs nursery. Because we do have far too many children. It's on the French border, so I deny it as far as I'm concerned. Well, you know. Uh, I do strongly suspect that Hugbert here is going in the downstairs nursery. Or do we get rid of Albrecht? Albrecht's on a learning path, so we might be able to persuade him to take holy orders. If we pushed him onto a learning path, Yeah, I do feel some jail baby coming on. Who have we forgotten to ever educate? Well, basically everyone. Because Gottfried, theoretically, we kind of need, because he is, is going to marry the daughter of the King of Castile. Hugbert here is the... It wasn't an uncommon name in Netherlands either. It means something like bringer of wisdom. Ah. See, on the one hand, we kind of need to put him in the downstairs nursery. On the other hand, his name is dangerously close to being Hugbot. And now I feel like we can't kill him. Because now he's just a little cuddly droid. Oh, whatever mar happened to the kid marrying into the Austrian family, we've got that going on. That is happening. So essentially, his heir, Berthold, has two kids. Hedwig von Babenberg and Hemma von ba Babenberg. Um, Hemma is betrothed to someone else and needs to die in a tragic accident. Ideally before she has children. Because Hedwig is betrothed to our second son Philbert and it's and it's patrilineal. So if Phil if she inherits their kids will be Habsburgs. So I guess the question is, are we now keeping Hugbot around?
I mean, we can keep Hugbot around. Just makes our lives a bit trickier. Technically, Hugbot's not inheriting anything at the moment. Our kids' names are a mix of Twitchbots and Bad Dilbert characters. Yeah, you're not wrong. I'll be a Stellaris infil uh, Synthetics race that's doing an infiltration. Has anyone actually done a decent Stellaris infiltration mod for that yet? This yet? Hapsbots. Yeah, well, yeah, there you go. He's got Freed's getting back to his garden, and we're going to absolutely snatch it off of him the first chance we get. Filbert's getting Argyle and Lucerne, which we don't really care about anyway. Depending on if we conquer anywhere else, which isn't guaranteed given that we're doing eco. We're pushing eco at the moment. Like, we don't actually have to kill anyone, which is quite useful, because we do need more Habsburgs for future marrying. Uh, Habsburg C uh, C C5 Bells, yeah. I mean... So, Filbert's now of age. Yeah, our overall goal is to form the Archduchy of Austria. Um, is there anything we can petition for that is useful? Uh, Thunder City holding would be nice. Volbara gifted a tier 1 sub to Hugsbutt. They have given 9 gift subs in the channel. Volbara, thank you very much for your gi gift uh, sub to Hugsbot. <laughs> I mean, Hugsbot is just, you know, a good solid name. I mean, essentially we're giving him a hook. But I kind of feel like we're getting a free city out of it, so... Yes. Our culture has discovered horseshoes, presumably behind a hedge somewhere. Too late to rename him, unfortunately, so we can't make him Philibot. Oh yeah, enjoy your traditional Swedish watching of Ivanhoe. Oh, look out. Jihads are now a thing. Right, so, in troop numbers, if we want to get the head of Dynasty back, we're not going to get it, because realistically we've got to get it off of Herman here, and Herman has a lot more troops than us. But when he dies, all of this shit is going to split, and then we should get the head of how we should get head of dynasty after that. That's murder scheme power plus thirty. If we can get a job done right, I think that's the point where we should be able to hopefully kill um, the older daughter, Austrian older daughter. No! Who killed him? Slain in battle! Damn you Ulrich von Eppenstein! Damn you! When I was growing up um, in Hertfordshire there was a town near me called Sharpenhoe and it was pretty much impossible to go through it and not sing the Ivanhoe theme. Now the sisters do indeed get nothing, so that betrayal's getting broken. Um, Berta here is going to inherit everything right now. All the character portraits are way waist up so we don't see the robot wheels, yeah. Yeah, basically, the if there had been no other male heirs, then the sisters would still have inherited. It would have gone to the granddaughter, but because he had he had brothers, the brothers take take uh, precedent over him. Bertha is not engaged yet. This is true. Um, um, yeah, I, I've really got into green teas since Bird and Blend starts started sending me free tea. Um, Pope, gold me, gold me, Pope, gold me. Right, that actually, uh, Werner, 
seriously, can you just stop being severely injured? Right, we could upgrade some buildings again. That's 225. Back to Skarden, we're going to lose potentially and need to get back. So I'd probably rather save and upgrade that again. Or maybe we hold on and push for the, for the building. So we're going to we're min maxing this province essentially around levies. We don't have burrs. That's the problem. Are we at least working on burrs? Please tell me we're working on burrs. Well, Barra gifted a tier one sub years. to in a Klein bottle. Yeah. They have given ten gift subs in the channel. Uh, I'm a coffee drinker, but I don't mind a, a rooibos blend on occasion. Yeah, it's some really nice stuff. Uh, do you own Friends and the Foes DLC? I was considering buying it, but saw a lot of complaints about house feuds. I do own it. I like it. I think it's decent. I do think they need to tone down the feuding. And the main reason I say that is I think the feuding can get you murdered far too easily. And that is a problem. Uh, free lifestyle intrigue. Yeah, go for it. And... Thank you very much, Wabara, for the 10 gift subs you've given out today. That is very much in the spirit of Stream Vesta. Um, and is very, very gratefully received. Uh, we're off to discount uh, engin Engineer in a half hour, by the way. Um, I haven't looked at what they're playing yet. Which I might quietly do in the background. They should be on by now. Ooh, Flight of Nova. That'll be good. Uh, anyway, anyway. Back to uh, what we're doing. Um, right. We should probably tro stop trying to sway the person that now has a hundred like of us. So, tactics chat. Tactics. It would be nice to still try and inherit into Austria. That means that she is no longer good to useful to us. So let's break that. That means that Filbert is no longer betrothed to anyone. Which means we should see if we can scam Austria. I don't think... The problem is I don't think he's going to go... <gasps> he will! Plus one! Fuck yeah. There we go. Let's get the Habsburgs going on. Give me the Habsburgs. All the Habsburgs. All the time. Uh, while my son and heir Werner certainly knows a thing or two about military stats, uh, what do we want him to get? Isn't he shockingly bad at stewardship? See, one more stewardship is not going to help him that much. Because it won't trip him over the figures for it. Because he needs ten to get an extra domain limit out of it. So arguably, that's probably the least bad of the options, we'll do it. Did you just lower my taxes? Sir, did you just lower my, use your, use your hook on me to lower my taxes? Because that feels like... Yes. Oh, maybe I was on exempt before. Oh, he's raised it from exempt to low. Yeah. Fair enough. Apparently I was tax exempt before. You definitely uh, assassinate more people when you deny yourself wars. Yeah, I mean, well, I did an entire run. Up on my YouTube run is an entire run where we start as a small county in Castile. And go from being that small county with female rulers only to restoring the entire Roman Empire without starting a single war. That was tricky. Really good fun, but tricky. Especially trying to work out how to get the Pope to give you Rome without fighting a war with him. 
Um, but yeah, that's up on my YouTube channel, exclamation mark YouTube. That was a really fun run. Probably, I think, the most fun I've had, and that was mainly because the DLC really allowed us to do that. Really, really fun run. Oh, with a dynasty head, quick. There have been crusades with lower death counts and that no war run. There was a lot of murder. There was an awful lot of murder. <laughs> Actually, does that YouTube stink still work since they started doing channel names? Oh yeah, it does. That's good to know. I should probably update that. Right, we're dynasty head. That does mean we have a brief opportunity to disinherit someone. I'm not sure there's actually a benefit to us in doing so. Because if we disinherit Gottfried here, Bechtus Garden is just going to go to Albrecht instead. If we disinherit Hugbot, and we disinherit Albrecht, because they're not going to inherit anything yet, so it's cheaper. And then we very quickly call a hunt. Does that mean uh, he died down here in Corinthia? Or did he just get massively slammed for troops? Free money. Because this is all going to split up when he dies. When he dies, we might actually want to go for Klagenfort. I think we want to get the Ducal building down first. Because that 20% boost to... Um, To all of our levies from this duchy is going to have a big impact. But the question is definitely if we can disinherit Gottfried as well, we're good. We're not that far off. Uh, Ermsgard has popped out kid. Don't you fucking die as well. It's gone to a lot of effort to marry my son or betroth my son to your daughter. I mean the other thing we could do at this point Here's an idea, chat. If we disinherited... Yeah, Hugbot will go play with you. Hugbot's lovely. If we disinherited Verna... No, we can't. We can't. Because... I was going to say that then Philbert's wife would inherit Austria, but that's not allowed because she's not a Habsburg. They're not close enough, so we can't deliberately make him our heir. If it happens naturally, it happens naturally, but we can't deliberately do it. And there we go, the, the time has flipped back again anyway. Uh, got Gottfried goad up decent. Yeah, 15. Terrible prowess, but... So yeah, we can't marry his daughters. We're not allowed. When we get a job done right, though, we might start seeing if there's anyone we need to murder. We will try that. I've never actually managed to get this to work once. With Dynasty Head again. Takes many days, but at long last I coincidentally stumbled upon Seek Hid. Well, he's alone. Lord Seekard, I've been meaning to. If you walked into a room to find your spouse yelling at a young page for dropping a plate, what would you do? 
Is he testing me? Maybe this is my opportunity to convince him that we have a lot in common. Um, he is humble, sadistic, and ambitious. I have no idea which one of these we're going with. Everyone makes mistakes. Oh no, one of our friends died. That's fucking annoying. That means we're going to have to host a feast. Or can we go boozing? We can go boozing. Oh, hey, boozing. Hmm. He pauses, thoughtful, before continuing. In the middle of a march to battle, just as you are setting up a camp, an officer approaches you to ask what, you sh what should be done with a spy that has been caught. I think he's sadistic, so... He's ambitious and humble, tough soldier, open terrain. Uh, we march on. There needs to be a better way of you working out which ones of those you go with. He nods to himself before painting the next scenario. You make a decision. Say that all the taxes in a county will be raised, and it comes to your attention that one of your vassals openly questions that decision. How do you react? Uh, we're going to try to ignore the slight. We'll go with that one, just in case. His face is lit up by a surprisingly warm smile. You seem to be a man of sound judgement. He glances down before moving down the corridor on a silent feet. Please join me, we have much to discuss. That is literally the first time in about fucking... 3,000 hours of playing this fucking game that I have, I have actually managed to do that actual event chain, which is outrageous, but also good. But it did work. Yeah, wave your duck emotes. Why not? Let's celebrate this. Uh, right, that does mean we get a job done right. And actually, do we want kidnapper? Maybe. Uh, Milo, are you any good? Prowse of 20, yeah, join, join the court. Join the party, pal. Right. Are we good enough to start murdering him and killing his alliances off? Because his titles are going to split quite heavily when he dies. It's going to crit stress us, that's the problem. don't really want to get crit stressed. Have I done it before? It's entirely forgot possible I've managed to do it before and completely forgot. Um, we've got a good murdery chancellor as well. Can we get a better one? Yes. Predicted Agent Zero, that's the problem. That Compassionate is a real pain in the arse for us. Oh, fuck it, let's try. I know it's pricey, but it's such a big win for us if we can pull this off. Kind of might, might as well YOLO it and go for at least one attempt. Right, we'll do some boozing. Does mean we're still over, so we are going to have to burn the money on a feast. Or a hunt. We'll give it a go, though. Let's go digging for dirt. Kidnapping might be useful. Kidnapping might be useful. Verna, can you just, like, get better? You've been severely injured for a long time now. Uh, Hugbot's very popular. I mean, why wouldn't he be? It's a little huggy bot.
No! Chat. Can we get some bees? Bees to meow in chat for Hugbot. Not Hugbot. He lived his life like a candle in the wind. Poor little Hugbot. I really need to get you a lot of proper me me meow me mate. Hugbot is playing in heaven. Not Hugbot. God damn we're stressed. Um we're gonna become a confider. Because at least we get another that then to help. We are somewhat stressed. Uh, you two are definitely marrying. What? Oh, that's alright, they're already married, I'm guessing. Yes, we'll pay for that. I had the last stream of sports, you scared the heck out of me. Look, Hugbot is dead. Can't we download him into another kid? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Candle in the pond. Nicely done. Duke Adalbero will attend a local celebration in Salzburg, and I happen to know that he's a bit of a wine aficionado. I could lure him into the cellar of my castle for an exclusive tasting, and then make sure he never walks out again. Let's brick him up. He's dead. Uh, unfortunately, I've seen leading him into the basement. Hey, look, he's he's just adding to my wall. Right now, he is in charge. He still has the alliance and like the alliance to Tyrol. Right, because the thing is, technically, these two bits of territory are ours. So we could out troop him. I just like him to not have that alliance when we went for him. Because we'd definitely win if he didn't have that alliance. It's through his Duchess. It's annoying we're not related to them. We lost a child but gained a dead Duke. Exactly. If we want to murder her, yeah, people are up for it. Want to murder him? People are up for it. That crit stressed, I would screw us. I suspect what we need to do is pick herself up another alliance and just do it for the. So we could get Tuscany Angria. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Right, do we go for... So we can get the du jour, one of our du jour counties. Or we can get Gratz. I reckon we get Gratz off of him first. I reckon we get Gratz off of him first. Don't we have a reason? We did have a just reason to go to war with him, but we don't now because we're are we allied to him? No, we're not. Oh, that was our nephew, wasn't it? Let's get Gratz first, because it's good territory, and it boosts our holdings up. And then we'll worry about our worry about our du jour claims. We 
which means we do want to call in. And we've got the prestige, we can just call everyone in. Oh, motherfucker. I honestly wish the game would warn you about that. I'm going to have to give you my fine law. An ordinance, which is annoying. Because there ain't no way I win without calling him in. Does mean like it shouldn't say they will they will come in if they're not planning on coming in. We will sway him. To be fair, we are a murderer. So I can kind of see why he's not overly excited about wanting to help us in the war. Where is Angria? I hope it's nearby. Where you at? Are oh, you coming down from up there? That's cool. Just, just come down here and lend me a hand. Cause there's a lot of angry people coming towards me. Cheers, pal. I reckon combined we should be able to take them. I hope so. Anyway. We should have defender advantage. Yes. Just about. Yeah, all that all that effort for the Congress. Yeah, exactly. If we didn't get it, we wouldn't get the benefit from it. Right. I suspect we are headed for an early death, you know, in stress. Let's just go straight to grass. No, we got a new Roman Holy Roman Emperor. Because I think we will get that before he sieges down. Yeah, you can siege down that as much as you want, mate. I don't care. Hopefully the Castilians will turn up at some point. Amadeus Vault, yeah, right. Uh, I have siege weapons, yes, we have not many, but we do have some. Which is why we're going to win that before they win that. Yeah, we didn't capture him. But they will follow us. So we will go up here, kick the shit out of them. They know they're going to lose. Get in there, please. Thank you. Yeah, we have real stress issues. Uh, unblock that. Could a leader be leading the army? He probably is. He probably is, to be fair. Right, they're going to try and unsiege that. We will unsiege that first, but we might want to go down and just smack him. Because they should follow. Castilians, where the fuck are you? Bruno! Born to Gottfried von Habs... When did you lose your arm, dude? Gottfried, you're missing an arm, mate. And go for them. Yeah, look, he's leading that army, so if we take the army, we win. And... Kill them. That puts us on 95. So unseaging that would win it for us. In fact,
fact, actually, we should just get ticking. Got some good commanders out of this. There is a handy way of getting knights, I have to say. We might even get ticking before we need to unseize that. We'll certainly get it before he gets that siege. There we go. Let's just kill it there. Grats! Grats, everyone! Damn, we are going to stress death hard. But that's still fine, so it's only that that's the problem. At this point, I don't think that there's enough parties in the world we could throw to save us, because we're already at level 2. I think we're almost just better off accepting that we're going to get stressed there. Do have some nice prisoners we can make some money off of though. Which is nice. So we do want to get the controls sorted out there. Oh shit, don't have any control issues. Nice. Grats. Are we fine on succession? Yes, we are. Right now, Werner would inherit, who is our rakish, severely injured son, who isn't married, which is fine, because we know we're going to need to marry him to a Habsburg, or at least get some Habsburg babies, somehow. Worst case, if he dies, it would go to Philibert, which... In a way, would kind of work out for us, but I'd rather it didn't. Because don't forget, he is theoretically married to the heir to Austria. Although he's now got a son. How does that work? Oh, motherfucker. He died. He did not have a good life. But he had a son before he died. That's not useful to us. The, friend, the current friend fatality rate, there's a very good chance of a party just resulting in a mass poisoning from undercooked sausage rolls. Pretty much. Pretty much. Do you have control issues in Bechtus Garden, do I? Let's sort that out, if so. Oh yes, good, good spot. Does she have a claim? She doesn't. Will she get a claim when he inherits? Because if so, we could press her claim. I'm not sure if she'll get a claim. But she might do. Really want that ducal building. What did he build here? Royal forests. Oh, that's not the end of the world. I mean, the good news is we're not actually far off. Two, four, three. Well, we're not generating a lot of money now. There we go, that's better. Because two, four, three, one is our theoretical total, so we are close to getting the duchy back off of him again. Yeah, we are, we are not a healthy man. We are now a kidnapper. So we could kidnap someone. So the problem is, the Duchy of Austria, in inheritance terms right now, 
goes to Hema. If these two people die. Hema is married. And then it goes to Hema's kid. Because Hema is the daughter of the formerly eldest son. So it starts again. Kaiser just died at 72. His heir then got voted for his 74. Yeah, that's some old, old Kaiser. Old Kaisers going on there. Now his titles are going to go to his daughters. So we could get a Habsburg on them. Yeah, Hemmer was the one who had pneumonia and recovered. Mildly annoyingly. So this is all going to split up when he dies. I mean, the duchy will stay intact, but it'll be a much weaker duchy and we can just go for it. So we could just go for that duchy when we get the chance. Got freed! Have some more stress! I guess we're melancholic now. There goes our alliance with Sancho. Because Gottfried is dead. Did they have any kids? Can we get... That is a family and a half. She did pop out some Habsburgs and she is prego with another one. I kind of feel like we should get that kid to our court if we can. So we need to not lose track of him because he is another Habsburg. Right, we're very close. Just before we raid, let's see if we can get to the point where we um, pull this off. I'd like to get the Ducal building built going, because otherwise we'll only forget that that's why we're saving the money. Uh, one of my territories is under siege. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, fine. Do what you want to do. It's only shitty little one over there. I don't care. There we go. Right, get our ducal building down. So we want... Oh, we can't anyway, because we need burrs, don't we? How far are we culturally off burrs? Not far. Five years. It's a long time. I can actually see us dying before we get to that. Let's just get another building down. Give me some more barracks. Someone is trying to kill me. Right, eh? Let's do that, shall we? In some learning, Filbert, Tutor Ver. As I was about to bite into the most succulent piece of duck I had ever seen, one of my servants killed over, clutching at his throat. He had been helping himself to a taste of my meal. At the very last, he served as a warning to not touch the bird while receiving just punishment for his crime. This was undoubtedly the work of that vile fool, Count Heinrich. 
Wave your duck murder ducks if you've got them, chat. Subscribers, wave your murder duck emotes. I will make him regret this. My 73 year old rival. That is outrageous. Ducking and dodging indeed. We need to increase control, we do in Gratz. Let's get the control increasing in Gratz. We're blocking attempts on our life for now. We do need to find a Habsburg for Werner, that's the main problem. Do we even have any decent Habsburgs? But ideally we need a Habsburg. Yeah, we just don't have any. But then we can go to our dynasty. The Etichonans. Okay, we have got some options. We have got some options. Yeah, her rival is 73, he does just need to die. But... Thank mm -hmm. you.